So now I want to explain key group. And it's pretty simple to do here. I'm in a blank project. Nothing's in here. Except I did load some samples, some base samples. So I come to here. I want to go to here, and that's key group. Once I select key group, and I'm here in program edit, you will see the parameters for key group. We have global. We have um, sample layers. And we have this randomizer here, right here. And we have uh, the percentage of depth I want to apply here. And also we have envelope, of course, always, which is an envelope here, amp, a filter, and of course a pitch envelope. Then we have some of the same features again. When we have this filter, and it's set to low pass filter two, we have an LFO here, which you can set the different type of waveforms you want to add, whether it's going to be noise, square, sawtooth, saw down, S and H, which is sample hold and hold. Another one here is triangle and, of course, uh, sign. Now, I'm set to sign here, and I want to do a base. So I've got some base samples I've loaded in. So what I want to do is I sort of get to that base sample I've got in here somewhere. There it is right there. i got a bunch of them here, so... I like that one there. So to load a sample in for a key group program, particularly if you're going to do a base, you want to go right over to where we can do it here in the program sample layers I'll come to here I'll pick a bass sound let's see I like the one that was A I go with C C right there I loaded C in and now it'll be across all the keys and now here it is all across all the keys here and this is just one bass sound which is pretty easy to do now, if you want to change that as well, you can always do something else. Now, for example, here, I've got it set for one sound primarily, but some spots, I can also make it two sounds, or two bass, bass line sounds here. I can come to here and add another layer if I'd like to. Now, this layer will only correspond to the last chosen note, and essentially, not the entire program. But the first one does apply to the entire program. You'll see it has a global here. We have uh, polyphony. In this case, it's a baseline. So mono is the best way to go. And of course, we have the key group right here. Choose. It's five. We also have here, we have the semi, fine, the level, the panning, and of course, the key track. Now, a lot of the stuff is pretty much in the manual, but it's easy to pretty much use. You pull a sample in. I want to get a range. This is my high. Good. And so my range is going to be from here, and the high is going to be the D2. How about I make it like the high go to like um, 6 and go to G, right? Let's go to G6. And now I set my range. So I can go further down, which is kind of cool. So I set my range up. I've got, I'm going to play a mono sound, of course. i got my note on here, and we have our layer play. So that means I can have different layers in here for each little sound. And then let's say I have a two sounds, and I would have a velocity setting. I can change my velocity here. I can have one sound be one velocity setting, another sound be another velocity setting. Once you hit harder, this sound will play. Once you're softer, this sound will play. I can come to here. I can load a sound in. This sound, load another sound in right there. Bam, and I got that sound. That a sound will appear right there. But not there. So you got to be careful in how you set up your sample layers so that you can adjust them for how you want to play the bass lines. Now, also here we've got, we've got our rate. And this is our root note this is our root note here and here we have a randomizer as well depth and we have an envelope we have amp filter and pitch so some of the same that's some of the same features we actually have in the drum program are right here too as well and then there are different features here we have portamento for example here's portamento here for the key group program and velocity sensitivity then we have filter velocity sensitivity and then we have controller mode for the controller pitch bend and the wheel 
the mod wheel, which is kind of do. It's kind of cool to have that. We can adjust the mod wheels or the pitch bend parameters. And this is a key group program. 